Welcome Sagittarius. I'm back y'all with another video. So I'm looking for my cards. Like, okay, they right here. <laughs> they right here in my face. So trip them. Alright, so this is gonna be for January, guys. Happy New Year for those who are celebrating. Um, for the ones that are celebrating in the spring, I'm gonna holler at y'all in the springtime as well, too. With the new Happy New Year vibes as well, guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. If you are returning, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all know how we getting down. If you're new, subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos. All right, so sex, sex, sex. Give me a message for Sagittarius, please. Give me a message for Sagittarius. Give me a message for Sagittarius. What's going on with the Sagittarius, please? There are a lot of cards that want to jump. All right. Yeah, I do got a jumper. You guys, this energy with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We got the Magician here as well. So it looks like you're trying to manifest something here. You're trying to manifest some success here. Something that you're victorious in. Is that six of wands? I see you spying a little bit. Like, you could be watching other people. People from your past. Um, this could be your first time doing something. So, you're kind of like, you're kind of like watching other people. All right. So, let's see. You've been being patient. I see the Seven of Pentacles is definitely investing. You're waiting for a harvest to come in. You've invested. You're planting your seeds. Yeah, and you got a lot of hope, okay? You got a lot of hope. You're getting an answered prayer, okay? You've been praying about this. There's something that you've been trying to manifest, okay? This is your challenge. This is something that you've been planting seeds on, something that you're, you're manifesting into your reality. I see you. With the Queen of Swords energy, some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But it looks like you could be, like, really guarded moving ahead, okay? And really guarded. Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Empress. And the King of Wands. So we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. So, this could be in regards to a twin flame energy or a soulmate energy. I see a lot of waiting. You're waiting for a cycle to complete. You're waiting for something to be complete. Okay, the world card here is a closing of a cycle. There's something that you want. There's something that you desire. Okay, there's something that you desire. Maybe you've been dreaming about it. You've been thinking about it so much. But I feel like you're keeping it to yourself. You're holding it in. You're not putting it out to everyone just yet. But I feel like you you are waiting patiently. You're waiting patiently to take some type of action. The Ace of Pentacles is here. The Devil came out in the reverse. None of these cards are reversed, but it flipped over in the reverse. So you could be letting go of some toxic energy. You could be letting go of some toxic traits, some codependency. I see there's an opportunity here. God is put, placing an opportunity in front of you, okay? It is a grand opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? This is something that you've been praying on. You've been praying on this. You put so much into this. Yep, I see you putting a lot of work, a lot of effort, and you're just hoping that everything works out in your favor. Okay. I'm seeing a bunch of people coming back to you for something. Um, but you feel like, wow, like you're like, wow, this is the first time that this i've had that many people come to me um for something there's something that you're working towards that you're manifesting it has people returning back to you i'm hearing returning clients okay 
I see you got a fresh new idea. You got a new idea. Yeah, you got some things that you're thinking about. You're thinking about this. Some, something new. There's some new idea. Yeah, you're avoiding drama at all costs. Moving ahead. You decide to slow things down just a bit. Because I feel like... We got the Emperor here. I feel like you're just bossing up. Okay? We got the Emperor here. You're bossing up. You're bossing up. And moving forward, it's just certain things that you can't do anymore. There's certain, you know, avenues that you can't take anymore. You have an image. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles. Your finances is going to be looking beautiful. The Emperor is here. I'm definitely getting boss vibes. I'm definitely getting business owner vibes. I'm definitely getting, like, top notch. Like, those are, that is your goal. I see you celebrating. You're celebrating. You're celebrating because something here, it just worked out fine. Like, it just worked out so beautifully. Nine of Pentacles and a Temperance. Like, something just worked out so, panned out so good. Um, I see you, you believed, you believed in, you believed in this. Whatever this is, you, you know that you can manifest this. It's coming true right before your eyes. Now, people that are exterior to you, these people, someone around you could be going through something, uh, have worries about their finances. Maybe there's there's some changes, okay, with their finances. Okay, they're juggling, trying to keep their finances afloat. And it looks like they could be going through some financial process, problems. So someone could be reaching out to you, asking you for assistance and help. They are watching you. They are keeping an eye on you. Um, but they are definitely, like, possibly going through some type of financial trouble. I see you. <laughs> I see you could be dealing with uh, Queen of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see you uh, wanting possibly to return to a Pisces Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio wanting to return to you. But I see you taking action. King of Wands, Tower, Six of Pentacles. Um, you're giving something some thought. As this out, as this goal fizzles out, it looks like your money and your finances and work, it looks really, really good. It looks like you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, or a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They could be going through some financial issues, but I feel like you're giving this some thought. You're giving this some thought. You may be uncertain about the connection that you have. Maybe you're not sure if you can keep up or help financially. Um, but I do see you. We got that Six of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Or some of you could be... The Hierophant energy is definitely like doing things by tradition. The right way. This is also a church or temple. Um yeah knowledge okay so um you could be keeping some you may decide to keep something a secret you may decide to help this person but you feel like you're going it has to be kept a secret i see you got a lot of younger people around you and you know maybe you regret something that you said to these people because Maybe things, everything wasn't true. I see you could possibly, could possibly be getting a proposal or someone could be proposing to you or you proposing to somebody else. Could be a Capricorn. But it's 
Somebody is saying that the relationship is too rocky. Okay. Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Somebody is saying like the relationship is too rocky. It's too on again, off again. But I see you spying, especially on the internet. This is my spy. The the world and the page of swords is definitely my spy energy. This is spying on the internet. You're watching somebody on the internet. This could be your first love. This could be somebody that you've been dealing with for a long time. You've been dealing with this person for a long time. This person could be your first love. Or this love situation could be a risk. Okay. So that's the message that I have for Sagittarius. If this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the like button, share it with your family and your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Ciao for now.